Da da dum bum 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 bum. Mm, mm, mm. I just want to check something real quick. Hold up. I want to make sure my audio is like not desynced by some for some arbitrary reason. So let me check this out real quick. Advanced audio properties. Checking it. Checking it. Check. Okay. All right. Just making sure. Because remember a while back, I was like, what was I streaming, like Sly Cooper 3 or whatever? And for the PlayStation 3, I got to desync my audio or some shit. Sometimes I forget to turn it back, and it scares me a little bit. There's his fucking trash can. <laughs> There's your trash can, yes, guy. Alright. Hey, Capito. Nice to see you again. Spoilers, Mitsuru wins the waifu war. You can't see me, but I just... I pretend that I was looking at a camera, and I was smiling. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll find out in the Persona 3 playthrough. Whenever we do that. Actually, now that I think about it... Now that I think about it... Wasn't there, like, a poll at some point where it was asked, like, officially, like, who people chose, and for some fucking reason, Fuka won? Am I crazy? Isn't that something that happened? Where, for some reason, Fuka was chose the most? By some arbitrary form of witchcraft? All right, let's see. Oh man, it's been a it's been a week since we last streamed. Probably the internet trolling, maybe. You know. But I would assume the internet would want to fuck a toaster over Fuka. <laughs> fuck a toaster over Miss Depressing. <laughs> Fuka's weird. She's cool, but she's weird, right? Cuz like she's so depressing, but they never talk about it. Fuka's like, man, I really don't want to lead the dorms. My parents fight all the time, and they don't really like me that much. And then you just go, okay, and you walk away, and they never talk about it ever again. <laughs> like, what? Like, what the fuck was that about, Fuka? She's like, yeah, my life sucks. I have no real friends. My bullies are my friends now. Like, uh. You're sad. You're depressing. You're cool. But you made me headphones. <laughs> I'd rather hang out with you than that fucking child over there. <laughs> I'll leave the hanging out with the child to the, um... To the... To the fucking canon pedo of Persona. The Fem C. Out here liking them very young. Almost like a Smash player. Did I say that out loud? Alright, I do not remember what fucking save file we had. Is this this one? Maybe? Let's check. Esas links! Margaret! Uh Anadachi! Cool. Cool, cool. Alright, I really hope that I didn't fuck this up somehow. Cuz... This... This here... Should be the final part of Persona 4 The Golden! And to help me out here... I am accompanied by... A Thin Mint... Flavored... Blizzard from Dairy Queen. This is my first time I ever had Dairy Queen, to be honest. I didn't know that we had one near me. Actually, that's a lie. This is my second time in my life ever having Dairy Queen. First time in my life, I was very young. And I remember I went there, and they were like, You want a waffle bowl? And I was like, Sure, I guess. And I was like, Oh, I'll just get like a regular size one. And it was pretty goddamn big. You know? It held a lot of ice cream. And it had like some brownies in it. And then I remember looking at the counter, and there was like a small sticker on the side that said, 
we serve extra large if you ask for it. And then I went, what? <laughs> I went, that's, that's poisonous. You shouldn't do that. I don't think they were officially allowed to sell it. That's why there was like a very, very tiny sticker on the window that said it. I gotta say. The blizzard is very underwhelming. I, uh, chose to get Dairy Queen because I wanted something to fuck up my diet tonight with, and I wanted something sweet. And I was gonna get Sonic, because, honestly, the food from Sonic isn't that good, but you kinda just get that for, like, the Sonic Blast, like, the fucking, like, the ice cream milkshake shit that they give you. That's, like, the only redeeming quality that they have. That and, like, a giant-ass hot dog. But I said, fuck it, this is cheaper, I'll get it from, uh, Dairy, Dairy Queen. Right? And I, I'm going to say officially that besides from when it comes to the ice cream, Dairy Queen sucks compared to Sonic. At least in terms of the one that I'm eating right now. But on everything else, everything else food wise, Dairy Queen is better. That would be a good ranking rather than waifus, rank who you just want to hang out with. Hang out with Fuka over Teddy. I think a lot of people hang out with Fuka over Teddy. <laughs> I mean, Teddy's great, but I mean... I mean, like... It wasn't the Persona people that made Persona Q. At least to what I'm aware of. I think it was the Etrian Odyssey people that did it. But... Man, they just had nothing for Teddy. That whole entire game. Like, he was very fucking annoying. Like, I think, I think that's the only time I actually ever legitimately hated Teddy when he was on screen, was that fucking game. But again, I haven't played Persona Q2, and I heard apparently they did better in Persona Q2, so, I don't know. I'm trying to think, is Persona Q2 the only game I haven't played? That and, like, the fucking Japan-only bullshit that they had going on? That some guy is trying to find a way to bring back? It's like a prequel to Persona 3. And wasn't there like a drama CD for fucking... For like Persona 3? With Strega or something like that? Feel the same way about Yukiko and the Q games? I love Yukiko and the Q games though. They had nothing to add to her character. Yeah, that, that is true. But I mean, since they had nothing to add to her character, they are like, just make her super cold-hearted. And I was like, I kinda like that. I'd rather have her be a cold-hearted bitch. Then, uh, then, uh, you know, sitting here going, ah, these glasses are so fucking funny. <laughs> Hilarious. I mean, and even though she's like a cold bitch in those games, she's nowhere as bad as fucking Yukari. Oh my god. <laughs> Yukari in Persona 3 is just the fucking worst. She's lucky she's cute. Like, that saves her in Persona 3, but in the answer? In the answer, that doesn't save her at all. The answer just becomes fucking... Fucking... <laughs> it just becomes like the Yukari show. Yukari starring in a show called... Me, Myself, and Igus. <laughs> That's literally what it is. It's just her bitching the whole time, and then her looking at Igus, bitching at Igus. And it's like, oh my fucking god, Yukari, shut up. Mitsuru, get control of your bitch. And then Mitsuru's like, nah, man, I'm with her. And I'm like, what are you talking about? You're a moron. <laughs> I hate you. Like, for some reason, the voice of reason is fucking Junpei in a dog. Like, why? The guy from the game who was all like, I don't want to be your friend no more. Why? Because you get to be the leader. I hope you die. <laughs> like, what the fuck, Junpei? Sometimes you want to cut your car some slack. And the answer, because without her acting that way, there would be no storyline or conflict. Hmm. And who else would want to bring... 
Makoto back. I mean, you had Ken and Akihiko. They had they had a bigger reason to want to reverse time. Oh shit! Let's not talk about that. It's spoilers, right? <laughs> Fuck my bad. Let's not get into uh into too much details, but um, yeah, you had uh, Ken and Akihiko, right? They had a bigger reason for it. Like, Yukari's reason was just like, me, 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 me. Like, you know when, uh, in the beginning of Persona 3, where Junpei's like, oh, me, 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 pick me. That's basically what Yukari's doing the whole entire time. And it's like, oh my god, you are the most worthless fucking character on this team right now, Yukari. Like, actually more worthless than the fucking child. How are you carding the other games like Arena and Q? She's uh, full out mean without any reason. She's a fucking bitch. There's a part of me like, okay, there's in Persona 3 and the answer where she's just a complete bitch and it's like, you're really fucking annoying. Get away from me. But then in the other games, it's to the point where you're like, where, where it kind of goes full circle and you're like, you're like, you're a bitch, but it's pretty fucking cool for it though. <laughs> right? Because instead of her just being a bitch to be confrontational, she's being a bitch because she's like, I just want to get this shit over with. I don't want to deal with this shit no more. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I've been done with it. <laughs> oh, man. Punches and slab Junpei for no reason multiple times in Q. Yeah. But Junpei can handle it. Sometimes. I mean, Junpei is a fucking perv in Q. Like, he's super perv in it. Let's be honest. I mean, he kind of deserves some of those. Right? Like, he doesn't deserve it in 3, but in Q, maybe a little bit. Right? You know? Besides Teddy, I think he's, like, the biggest perv. Akihiko does say his POV, though. And he wouldn't want to bring back his sister, or Shinji. Oh, yeah, my bad. I'm sorry. They, they didn't want to do it. I'm sorry, I forgot. Because in, in my mind, it's like, there's the two who wants to do it, and then there's the two who don't want to do it, and then, and then to me, the two that didn't want to do it was always uh, Junpei and the dog, because they're just like, guys, come on, that's too much. We gotta stop. We gotta stop. And for some reason, I thought that, I thought Ken and uh, Shinji, I, I, fuck, I thought Ken and uh, Akihiko wanted to do it. My bad, no, you're right. You're right, definitely. I guess. I guess. <laughs> it was a joke. Haha, <laughs> put him ching. Alright. One uppercut was from scaring her. Alright. Have I tried Nuzlocke P4? How does that work? <laughs> like, what? Wait, how do. Wait, how the. F what? <laughs> First of all, welcome to the stream. Second of all, how the fuck does that work? Isn't the thing about a Nuzlocke is that you get whatever Pokemon you come across first, right? And then there's like a repeat clause or whatever where you get like three chances to catch, to like redo it if it's a same Pokemon that you already have. What the fuck? There are two people streaming Zone of the Enders and Vampire the Masquerade. Oh my God. Two games that I literally was thinking about earlier today. <laughs> Being streamed by people I thought who would never fucking touch that game. What? Hey Squish, welcome back. Yeah, but how does um how does the Nuzlocke for P4 work? Do you just come across random personas? You get one persona per dungeon. Per dungeon? Okay, wait. You get one persona per. Is it just like? Wait. So, I'm assuming you're not allowed to die, right? At all. How the fuck? How does that work? You get one persona per dungeon, but the to me when I think of Nuzlocke, of, of course, I mean I think of Pokemon. I think everybody thinks of Pokemon when they think of Nuzlocke. But it's like if your Pokemon dies, you throw it away, and then you know you just get one of the backups and train them up. But in Persona, you don't really, you know, you don't send them out like Pokemon. So are you just rocking one life and they die? If Yosuke dies on my team, is he not allowed to come back? Is that what's happening? 
If Chie keeps missing attacks like always and being useless, does that coconut head bitch never come back? <laughs> like coconut head from Net Declassified when he gets hit by the fucking dodgeball? <laughs> I love you, Chie. You're fun. You're fine. I just love dunking on you because it's so fucking easy. Jesus. I might, I make, I might take like all the streams from Persona 4 and make a best of, and like I'm pretty sure half of the best of is going to be me either dunking on Chie or talking about how big fucking Saki Senpai's forehead is. <laughs> you can set up your own rules. Okay. I mean, I guess if I was thinking about a Nuzlocke, then it would be like one Persona per dungeon, right? Um. No, I mean, because then it will come across as a problem with, like, social links and shit. So I would say, whatever first three Persona cards that aren't repeats that would come up in, like, the card shuffle shit, you can pick them up, and you'll be able to fuse them or whatever. Right? And... I guess if your teammate just bites it, right? Then you can't use them again. No fusing. Oh my fucking god. How does that work? Well, I assume no new game plus, obviously. No fusing. How the fuck does that work? If there's no fusing, then they, you're just gonna have to grind your ass off. You can't even fuse the personas that you get? Just grind and shuffle time. Oh no, that's too much. That's too much. I mean, it sounds like... It sounds like an interesting challenge, but I mean, that's just too much. No fusing? Damn. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Shit. Alright. I don't know. I'll, I'll look into that. But, um... I mean, if I do that, it won't be, it won't be until, like, a long, like, if I do something like that, it won't be until, like, a while, while, because mostly what I do is I, um, when I stream, I do, like, playthroughs, right, and then I put them up on YouTube, and then, uh, for the days I don't stream, I put up other playthroughs on YouTube that are better suited for, like, edited shit, so I can cut stuff out, like Pokemon, which is done, you can all go watch the... Pokemon Red and Blue played through for the Pokemon Marathon. It's all done. You can go do that if you want. But anyways, let's, uh, let's... Oh, tired from the TV. Fuck, man. <laughs> Big bro, you like sweet things? I do, because you're full of sugar and candy, Nanako. You're my favorite. Seemed pretty busy yesterday and today. Did something uh, happen at this? Yeah, I can't even read anymore. Beginning of the stream and I can't read. What's wrong with me? It's the fucking Dairy Queen. That's what it is. Too much sugar in my system. Did something happen at the ski slopes? Mm, what's wrong? You smell a bit burnt. <laughs> you get struck by lightning or something? I just had like a hiccup. That came out weird. Let me try that again. You got struck by lightning or something? Still, you seem pretty happy about whatever it was that happened. It hurt, but it hurt so good. You're tired from entering the TV, you should go rest in your room, because you're tired and not because some dumbass cat's telling you you're tired. Throw that little fucker out the window. February 14th- oh shit. I forgot. <laughs> Oops. Today's Valentine's Day! You received six text messages. Oh, shit. So here's the thing I really hate about the choosing of this in Persona 4 is that you have to decline the message to get to the next person instead of them just giving you, like, a list. Persona 5 fixed that. Hmm. Who's my best girl? I'm neutral. I can't reveal that until we're done with this playthrough. But I'm neutral. I can't pick. <sighs> Come to school today, right? I want to talk to you and stuff, so I'd like to walk home with you. Come on, guys, start fighting each other in the chat. I want to see it. Tell me why. Tell me why I should choose who. 
We got all the choices here. Every single one of them. I'm gonna... I'm gonna eat some of my Dairy Queen before it melts. It's a lot. It's a lot. I got a large one. I don't know why I did that. It's a lot of Dairy Queen. Think about it, guys. We got Chie, Yukiko, Naoto, Naoto Chi, Rize. Who haven't we actually hung out with this playthrough? I don't think we hung out with Naoto at all. Poor Naoto. I can't pick, guys. I really need you to do it. You can't make me do this. I will decline each and every one of them. You can't leave it in my hands. I'll do it. Don't you dare think I won't. I'll do it. You guys are assholes, you know this? You guys you guys know you're assholes. <laughs> you make me pick? I don't wanna do it. I really don't. You know what? This is perfect time where you get a um where you get a nice little telltale blurb at the top that says Firestorm will remember this. You will. I'll do it. Now motherfuckers think I'm bluffing. Decline Yukiko's invitation. There are five more. Y'all better speak up. <laughs> you can walk home with me after school. I want to give you something. You can probably guess though. Say it now forever. Hold your peace. Oh, Mr. Chance. You declined Chie's invitation. There are four more. XOXO Senpai. You know what day it is? Keep your afternoons open. I'm a madman. I'll do it. You decline Rize's invitation. Oh no. There are three more. I have important information for you. Please see me tomorrow after school. Nato's life is in your hands, guys. You got this. Fight for your right to party. Naoto, no! You decline Naoto's invitation. There are two more. You better not have any plans today because I want to see you. Wait for me. Come on, you guys are breaking my heart now. Eye's gonna go away soon. Now eye's a forehead I can get behind. Declined eyes invitation. There's one more. I'm not even gonna try because Yumi sucks. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Yumi. I don't like you. You're boring. You decide to not make any plans for today. Oh. Now everyone hates me. <laughs> Yo. Sup, Yosuke? What the fuck? Is my is the other TV on? Eyes best girl? Unofficially speaking? Yes, yes she is. Definitely. If we're not talking about the main four, 100%. I would totally go for I. 
What's up, Yosuke? Things were tough yesterday. I never thought I'd get zapped by lightning in real life. Thanks to that shock or whatever, I totally forgot about today. It's the 14th, you know? I didn't have much time to prepare myself for this, so... I've been nervous all morning. Ah, someone help me do something about all this pressure. You ever try, uh... Masturbating? Just jack it off, buddy? Don't worry. You believe in yourself, Yosuke? That pretty face of yours gotta get you something. Maybe from me. <laughs> I'm used to it, back when I lived in the city. But it's been nothing but betrayal ever since. Oh man, if I end up just getting friend chocolates, and those only from Teddy, I'll never live it down. All the work that Mega Chad Yu has done for this year, destroyed. Hey everyone, posted the test results. I don't even remember how I did on the test. <laughs> did I get the top score? I feel like I didn't. You received an average score. Oh shit. It's not too far from mine. I would say passable is still passing. Oh no, I'm gonna be stuck at a dead end job like this fucking loser. This guy probably has it the worst, right? He's a pretty dude, but he's just, he's just stuck at where he's at. Like, Yosuke peaked in high school. Is that what's happening right now? He peaked in high school. He became a dad in high school. <laughs> More male students have stayed after school than usual. Well, Earn my respect, staying single now? on Valentine's Day. I'm gonna hang out here for a bit longer, but you know? I don't know what to do. You know what? I would agree with that, but unfortunately, because we went the harem route, it's impossible to stay single on Valentine's Day. Because <laughs> no matter what, you're gonna get something from someone. I don't think there's anything for me to do at home anyway. Oh, I got it. I'll go up to the roof or something. I'm, I'm gonna be behind the school building. You know, just because. Most of the girls are already gone. Am I tweaking? Do you guys hear like an echo? Is there an echo coming through for you guys? I must be losing my fucking mind. Hey, man, all these guys are obsessed with chocolate. Why does it sound like it's echoing? Ain't no fucking way. They want candy so much, why don't they just buy some themselves? Do I have a foot? Hold up. What the hell? Why? Why is it echoing? I don't have, I don't think I have anything else going through the audio channel. And I have my monitor on mute and shit, so I don't know. It sounds like it's echoing for me. Hmm. Are you serious? This is the one day you shouldn't be buying chocolate for yourself. Yeah? Man, you're clueless. Whatever. I know I'm getting some for sure today. From who? Part-time workers at Juness? Nah, I don't count. My ice cream's melting. The important thing is that I have any at all. Right, Chie-san? Yukiko-san? Wow. Desperate. I see you've got some big bags with you today. Wow, that's not the sound of desperation or anything. Yeah, I do have some. Uh, Yukiko, why don't you hand yours out first? N no, you first, Chie. I, I can't. Not here. Wait, why? <gasps> Is it? Damn, put her on the spot like that. You know, I, I like candy. Kanji? Shut the fuck up. Kanji, take the hint. We're both out of the picture now. Oh, are you 
you guys handing out chocolate? Great timing! Here you go, Chie-senpai, for always being so hardworking. Oh shit, wait, hold up. I think I know what's going on here. I think I know what might be going on here. Let me check. Monitor and output. No. Wait. Yes. I'm sorry, I don't mean to like just bring a whole stop to the fucking playthrough, but it's like echoing for you. I might need to restart the game. I might need to, actually. Why me? Because today's for giving out chocolate to the people you like, right? It's a great day to say thank you to all those people in your life, not just your romantic partner. Wow, putting a new spin on things. Nice closed eyes spread of freeze, eh? <laughs> yeah. She's so thoughtful. Must be all those years in showbiz. Why the fuck did Yosuke seem angry about that? <laughs> you hear the echo more now? Really? All right, hold up. Shit. I honestly don't know what's going on. The game echoes, but my voice doesn't. I have no fucking idea what's going on. Because I thought, like, I might have audio from the stream playing in the background, but that's not the case. How the fuck is that open? Let me check OBS again. Um... All right, I'm going to try doing that and see if that helps out. There we go. Fixed it. But there doesn't seem to be any left for you. Hey, what about him? Nope, I got it. So I knew something was off. For some reason, the... Uh, Sometimes OBS likes to do dumb shit, and they love to uh, re uh, reconfigure your shit behind your back, and that's what they did for me. I'll give him his chocolate later. I've got some stuff to take care of right now, but I'll call you soon. Does that mean? Oh. I feel like everyone's super curious about who I'm going to hand my special chocolate to. If I do it now, it'll be embarrassing. So, see you later. See you later, Rize. Maybe, maybe not. Well, I have some other people to give chocolate to. Bye! Oh, hey, Naoto-kun. What's up? Oh, well... Didn't you say that you're not the kind of person who gives chocolate to just anybody? What the fuck, Rize? Come on, chill out. Sorry, that was a little mean. But I'm serious too, and I'm not gonna lose. So Rie, uh, Rize gives chocolate to Chie if you choose no one? Oh no, she gives chocolate to everybody. That's why they're all like, what? <laughs> they're like, what? I thought you only give it to guys. She's like, what? No, give it to everybody you like. But give the special one to the guy you like. Senpai? I find it weird that Persona does Valentine's, but they don't do White Day. That's kind of weird, right? Did they do White Day in Persona 3? I think they might have. <clears throat> Senpai, I have to talk to you later, so I'll see you then. Damn, Nato! <laughs> what was all that? Oh well, Kanji. Guess we're spending time with each other today. Maybe because White Day is too far past the storyline? When's White Day again? Isn't that in... Is that in April? I mean, you start... Oh, uh, damn. You start the game in April, right? Yeah, I guess. Sure, why not? Attention, everyone! I have chocolates here with everyone's names on them. Please take your candy and go home. Okay. If you can't find yours, come see me later. That's it. Dismissed. 
Any questions? No, ma'am. Come on, what are you doing? You've got to make a decision right now. Oh. Uh, uh, me, me too. I I've got candy for everybody but you, so uh, I'll see you later. What the hell, man? What kind of crazy voodoo are you doing to be such a chick magnet? <laughs> Maybe if you didn't spend the whole entire game cock blocking me, Yosuke. All the damn times he stopped me. I remember that I remember him fucking up my my plans, plotting on my downfall. How can one guy be so popular with the ladies? Because Senpai's popular? I'm an oh, Alpha oh, Sigma that's gamer. Impressive. What's impressive is how clueless you are. Things have become somewhat complicated. Like Avril Lavigne said, why does everything gotta be so complicated? Now you must go and see all of the ladies. All of the single ladies. The rooftop. You came to see Coconut Head. Sorry for being such a spaz just now in front of everybody. Jay, I love your jacket. Like your shit's on point, like for real. Jay forces herself to smile. Here, this is yours. It's a, a little different from everyone else's. Che gives you a special chocolate gift. You, um, do, do you have something else to do today? I'm not doing anything, so, uh, maybe I'll go with you. Hmm. I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> That's like the most asshole way to say that. It's just, yeah, I'm not sure about that one, Chief. <laughs> <sighs> Don't worry. I won't ask anything about today or if you have someone else. I believe in you. Oh, that hurts. But it's still a little sad. A little. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm asking too much. <sighs> I'll call you later. An awkward silence fills the air. However, you've already declined Chie's offer. You see Chie struggling to smile as you say goodbye and leave the rooftop. Oof. <laughs> Oof. A deserted hallway. There's no one here to save you. You came to see Yukiko. I didn't mean to have that come out like that, but I couldn't go back. Yukiko has conf has conflicted expressions on her face. Um, this is for you. It's a bit large. Yukiko gives you a special chocolate gift. Actually. I was thinking that we could go somewhere together after this and share it. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. <laughs> that's what she said. Exactly. But that's just me. I'm kidding myself. More like that's not what she's gonna be saying. Not today anyways. <sighs> Where are you going after this? What are you gonna do? Hmm... Let's go out some time later, okay? You're not telling your girlfriend what you're doing. On Valentine's Day. <sighs> Listen, Yukiko, it wasn't my choice. I... I am your girlfriend, right? Chat made me do it. Blame them. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I just get worried sometimes. I, I'm crazy, aren't I? <laughs> it's not that I don't have any trust in you. Oh my god. I guess I'm not that confident about who I am. Ah. Uh. And I think of you as someone that I can't have all to myself. Ain't that right? It's strange. <laughs> An awkward silence fills the air. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. Happy fucking what happened is this whole entire playthrough. I have to be neutral. I can't choose a waifu. I can't. I can't do that. 
people will hate you for it if you pick sides. So chat was in charge of that, and I told them, hey, pick somebody for Valentine's Day. And then for some reason, chat, everybody went silent. Everybody went silent and didn't say anything. So everyone got declined. That's what happened. And now I'm forever alone. Not only Yosuke Kog blocked me this playthrough, but the chat did as well. Y'all motherfuckers been plotting on my downfall since episode one. <laughs> Ever you have, however you have already declined Yukiko's offer. You part ways with the dour Yukiko and leave the hallway. Chat doesn't want me to be happy. That's why they come to Twitch to watch people be depressed live. Came to see Rize. For a moment, I was thinking that maybe you wouldn't even come. Rize seems to be smiling as usual. That's not weird at all. Here, this is yours. It's special, just for you. Rize gives you special chocolate gift. Well, now where are you going? Who are you going to see? It's a girl, isn't it? Everyone's gonna be rejected. <laughs> Why you think that, Rize? You think I'm cheating on you? You think I'm going to see another girl on Valentine's Day? I wish. But you're the one who's making me turn so mean. I'm your girlfriend, and I can't even go on a date with you on Valentine's Day. I guess that if whatever it is is a big deal to you, I can't complain. But I'm not just going to take it lying down. This isn't fun and games. I'm serious about you. I hate this. I always feel like a mess when it comes to dealing with you. Sorry, I don't want to trouble you. I'm sorry. An awkward silence fills the air. However, you already declined Rize's offer. Rize looks like she's about to cry as you say goodbye to her and leave the classroom. Thanks a lot, chat. Thanks a lot. You made Rize cry. <laughs> you know, out of all these, I gotta say the one I feel the worst for is Naoto. You know? <sighs> Naoto's been struggling with herself for years. You know, struggling with her whole gender thing. And now she finally opens up. And you all just snatched it away from her. Naoto isn't saying a word. Oh. She can't even speak. Speechless. Naoto gives you a chocolate gift. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what I want to say to you myself. You know what? I can say the same thing, Nato. You're going to see someone else today, aren't you? Actually, no, I'm not. Yeah. I'm so sorry. That's not a good answer. But never mind. I don't want to know the real answer. Well... This is a first. There is a mystery, and I know the answer. Yet, I want to look away from it. When I try to logically analyze the situation, another part of me tries to stop it. It tells me, you'll only get hurt. Mm. And now, I'm following that voice. I'm a failure for someone who claims to be after the truth. An awkward silence fills the air. However, you have already declined now to his offer. You say a brief farewell to Nauto and leave. So who are you hanging out with today? You know? Who's hanging out with the guys? You, Yosuke, and the others came here with nothing better to do. Yosuke, why do you look so hopeful? Hopeful? What are you talking about? Excuse me. Yes! Damn, Yosuke. Where's a trash can? Oh, right in front of you, ma'am. The, uh, the <laughs> trash can. Thanks for the bits, Happy. Jesus. 
<laughs> Where's the trash can? Yosuke grabs his trash can and starts dancing Yosuke, right here. It's over. You're only gonna get yourself hurt. You'll see. Shut up! Don't you, you'll see me! You don't understand the true strength of a man's heart. I know I don't have anything waiting for me, but I can't give up my hope. It's my only weapon against the Valentine's monster! Oh, I'm pathetic. Hey, that's so rude! I know you got chocolate from Shie-chan and some other girls. Oh, damn, Teddy wasn't there either. I know that! And it was 100% friend zone chocolate. And you ate it all anyway! It was so good! That was bargain price chocolate from Juness. I put the sales stickers on them myself, I know. Oh man, that's gotta hurt, like, super bad. <laughs> He's like, not only that it was friendship chocolates, but it was the one that I was fucking selling. They literally just tuck it out my hand, said, I'll buy this, and I said, for who? And they said, for you, and handed it back. <laughs> hey, since you ate all my chocolate, when White Day rolls around, it's your responsibility to make it up to me. Oh, don't you worry. All the ladies will get Teddy's love. Hey. Ah, uh, don't say stuff like that. Yukiko will sew your mouth shut. Oh, never mind then. I'll give them my winning topsicle sticks. They're a Teddy family bear loom. <laughs> Teddy's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he wasn't, he wouldn't have won the pageant, right? Oh, Thanks for the God, follow, dude. Happy. Don't give girls something that you've licked all over. Hey, speak for yourself, Yosuke. Hey, hey, Yosuke. Speak for your fucking self. <laughs> Anyway, what are you doing here? Don't you have a bunch of dates? Huh? This guy, I, I will Super Saiyan across this fucking table. Man. You know what? This sounded like more fun! Ain't that right, chat? To rejoice in male friendship, or to be angry that you're not as desperate as us, that is the question. Hey, Yosuke! Your younger brother, Kanji-kun, is acting weirder than normal. What the fuck? What? Why are you calling him my brother all of a sudden? Your brother's in nobody's arms. Family that's <laughs> lonely together is bronely together. That's fucked up, Teddy. D -d Shut up! Don't call us that! Don't even mention it again! Anyway, you have been quiet this whole time. What's going on with you, man? Are you disappointed that Naoto... Oh man, now I feel bad for Kanji. Not only that Naoto didn't go after him, but I declined Naoto on top of that. And he knows it. Ugh! No, I wasn't expecting anything from her, and I don't think of her like that anyway. Stop acting so tough. Then what is it? Well, uh... Senpai, I want you to have this! Oh my god. Dreams really do come true. Kanji gives you a piece of chocolate that looks like Teddy. It's excruciating detail. Wow, so now it's time for guys to give chocolate to each other? That's not the person you're supposed to give that to. Wait, unless... No, it's not like that. I, I owe Senpai so much, and I've never been able to pay him back. Yeah, Yosuke. Unlike you, Kanji hasn't been cock-blocking me this whole game. But... It's gonna go away soon. So I thought I'd do this, at the very least. Thank you, Kanji. That's why you're the fucking best. Kanji's gift is, he is heavy with gratitude and chocolate. Yeah, that's right. This is a present from Kanji and me. It'd mean a lot to us if you take it. You're a dickhead. Hey, what now? <laughs> you found me out. It's a present from me to you. Surprise! Yeah, it's expected from Teddy. <laughs> it's expected from Teddy. Kanji just seems honestly respectful to you. 100%. Kanji's the best, man. It's a cuddly, waddly, choco Teddy hug. Too bad his voice actor wants me to pay for fucking NFTs. Nights for sweet, ridiculous dreams. Like, come on, man. <laughs> like, come on. Troy Baker, that was not a good take, my guy. You can feel an affection that Yosuke and Teddy have for you, but not hey, Kanji. Don't jump on my bandwagon. Besides, if you hold on to it, it's gonna melt. Wait, you have non-chocolate Teddy hug pillows? What? I want 
on. Hugging up on Teddy as you sleep? It's been Valentine's Day with just the guys, but it was far from emotionless. Dojima's residence front door. I don't know why I said it like that. I said it with a lot of gusto. You're late. Oh my fucking god. Every time I walk up to you in this game, that's the first thing that comes out of your fucking mouth. Is is how the fuck you start a conversation like that? Can't you just say hi? What the hell? No, you're late. I don't get it. What? Do you know why I'm here? <laughs> Me and Square Enix just sold their Western game. Oh yeah, I fucking yeah. Heard about that shit. <laughs> Including Tomb Raider because they want they sold what? Tomb Raider, Legacy of Cain, and what the fuck else? Well they showed it they sold everything that was Western, right? They were just sticking with their Japanese shit now. And maybe they might, you know, make a force spoken too. really are an oddball. Dance Action Thief. Chocolate. Well, they should have got rid of Thief a long time ago, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't think the Thief reboot was a bad game. It's just that it really had nothing much going for it. As a game itself, it was alright. You can have it. But the fact that that game constantly goes on sale for like two bucks, it's like, Jesus. Yeah, Legacy of Kane, I don't know. Yeah, if I, what what was it? Was it, um, was it 2017 or 18 that was like a canceled game for Legacy of Kane? It was called like Dark Sun or some shit? Or was it like, wait, no, I think it was 2010 or something like that. I'm not sure. It was canceled or whatever, despite like already being in months of fucking, uh, in months of development. It was like three years. Yeah. It was three that dollars three years ago. Eclectic Loutwitz. I did the best I could, but I don't know if it turned out any good. Eclectic Loutwitz. Marie, you're an Eclectic Loutwit. You make my heart spark. Sorry. Aww, this is incredible. Thank you, Marie. Huh? It's okay? It's fine? Maybe we can go shopping at Hot Topic later. Huh. What do you mean, incredible? Incredible that you were able to make anything in that room. You can eat it. If you don't hurry, it'll melt. If it melts, it'll run away. What the fuck you mean it'll run away? You have a feeling of danger. I think you mean Danger. But, you've already accepted her gift. When you eat it, um... Oh shit! I dropped my fucking controller, I was trying to put it down. Speaking of melting, my ice cream's been sitting here melting, I gotta have a little bit of it. I'll be right back, I'm gonna throw the shit in the freezer. I have a mini fridge in my room, and just like that, it's in the freezer. I want you to tell me whether it was good or not, now. Because I am a gamer. That and I gotta put all my wonderful superfood diet foods in my own mini fridge, or people will eat them with no regard for actual health. You seem to have no choice but to eat it! Despite the smell, it tastes quite normal. Nope. This is, uh, you can't stop eating it. You ate it all? That's incredible. Are you stupid? Yes. Yes, I am. Well, it, it makes my work worth it. You have this unsettling feeling that something is moving within your stomach. And it's not butterflies. Valentine's Day isn't an actual ritual. I looked it up. I thought it was some big event. 
you know, a turning point of your life. It's going to be a turning point in your life tonight in the bed, if you know what I mean. Because it's going to be cold tonight and you'll be tossing and turning those covers. Keep it a PG. I'm so lame. I was fooled. I feel stupid. Ugh. But it's not like that. I, I didn't make that chocolate just because I thought it was something I was supposed to. No, that, that makes it sound like I'm serious. Uh, well, I am serious, but... And, and, and you can just shut your stupid jerk face! But I like my jerk face. I know. I'm telling the truth! Look, just... Close your eyes. Shut up and close them! Oh, I like it when she's forceful. Thank you. Well, I don't really get it, but... It looks like I don't just like you. I want to be with you forever and ever. I love you. I love you so much. You smell the sweet aroma of chocolate. You spent some time with Marie. At least I wasn't completely lonely today. I won somehow. <laughs> Dojima's residence. Living room. It seems Dojima is away on business trip and can't come home. Big bro, do you know what day it is today? It's Give Your Big Bro Chocolate Day. <laughs> How did you know? I bought it in secret. This is my favorite chocolate. Nanako gives you some chocolate that's very popular with the children. Thank you, Nanako. Nanako's best girl, P4, do it for her. Today, my teacher said Valentine's Day isn't just a day to give out. <laughs> what are you doing, big it's bro? A day to say thank you Listen, to Chris Hansen. Care about. Everything's fine over here, okay? I'm not doing anything. Teacher gave us all chocolate. Like I said Everybody earlier, we'll leave that to the me. female protagonist in P3. If you, you want to go talk to somebody, Chris Hansen, you go talk to her, okay? And when she gave it to me, she said, It's been tough for you, but you've done very well. Everyone tells me I'm strong for pulling through. That's why I said thank you back. And I said that my big bro and my dad are rooting for me. And that's why I can be happy again. I'm proud of you, Nanako. Really? Really, really. And then my teacher was so happy. And then she said, When someone's cheering you on, even when you're in trouble, you feel energized. Man, that's almost like what happens in Final Fantasy XIV in Walker. Spoilers! Do you feel like that when I cheer you on? <laughs> FBI open up. <laughs> FBI open up and we're just playing with dolls. I feel amazing when you cheer me on, Nanako. Me too. When you root for me, I get so happy. We're I literally just think of the moment in uh, one of the early episodes of The Simpsons, where uh, where um, Homer just like rearranges the words in his office, and it's pictures of Maggie, and it says "Do it for her." I just think about that, but with Nanako. Me, my dad, and your friends are all on your side. Even if you go back soon, I hope you're happy. Aww. I had one more chocolate. I made it myself. Oh, did you now? Nanako, what the fuck is that? A strange object sits on the plate. By some miracle, it has no smell at all. Nanako, have you been watching Bill Cosby again? taught me how to make homemade chocolate creations. Oh. That's why I made one for you. Oh. Just who taught her how to cook? Your instincts honed after years of battle are ringing warning bells in your mind. She said I should mix in iced coffee to add flavor. Okay, well that's not bad. 
Oh, and bacon. Since everyone likes bacon. All right. Okay. Luckily, there was some bacon and iced coffee in the fridge. Nice. Risei-chan said that the chocolate should assert itself. So it needs to be either really sweet or really spicy. You're a grown-up, big bro. So I thought you'd appreciate a bitter taste. Oh. So I put bell peppers and wheatgrass juice in it. You know, you don't have to put anything in chocolate to make it bitter. You know, the uh, cocoa itself is actually really bitter. I cook with 100% chocolate from time to time and it tastes like fucking dirt. I think that sour chocolate sounds really assertive. So I added vinegar and ponzu sauce too. Oh. Yukiko said that my chocolate would have depth if I added fish. Oh. So I added some fish sausage and some of Dad's fermented squid. Mmm. Scrumptious. And Naoto told me she'd let me borrow a recipe book. Naoto was the voice of reason. And when I told her I was already done, she told me that you'd enjoy anything that I made for and you. And then she thought about the events earlier today and said, fuck that. Thanks. Oh shit, my controller just disconnected. Uh-oh. Nadko looks at you expectingly. Um, big bro, thank you. I love you. I love you too, Nanako. In a family way. You have no options. It's... Big bro? What's wrong, big bro? You can hear Nanako's voice from far away. Fading. Fading. Sweet Home Alabama plays. Oh no. Uh, this ain't no fucking arrested development, okay? After getting some rest, you've managed to recover your health. A soft light is pouring in from the outside. You should hurry to school. I spilled some of the ice cream on the floor when I was putting it in the fridge. Morning! Hi, guys! Fuck the both of you. Good morning! Oh my god, you said that with so much evil in your voice, that's not even funny. Wait, you're not gonna speak? Okay, I'll speak for you. The weather's great today. <laughs> it's even a little warm, don't you think? Hmm. I saw on the news that the first official spring storm was... First official spring storm? Oh yeah, rainstorm, okay. Was observed this morning. Spring is just around the corner, huh? Hmm. Spring, huh? Everything went by so fast. What's up? Hey, everybody. What's going on? Mm. Oh, nothing. We're just talking about how spring's almost here. Then you can well... Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. I try not to think about it. But hey, we still got some time, right? No gloomy faces until then. So, let's have fun. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna pack your brain so full of good memories that you'll beg us to stop. And then when you say, please stop, no more, I go, no, more, definitely more. Oh, shoot. Well, let's go. Let's go, man. Uh, wait for me. They did do White Day! Fuck you guys! What? Oh my god. Look at everyone in those f in that photo. All our friends are here.
Kanji's face is really detailed in that photo. You have finished packing. You'll be returning to the city in two days. You decide to rest for today. Ah, uh, a whole year has passed and no one from my no one from my hometown or my parents haven't called me at least once. Shows how much they fucking care about me. Spring has come once again to Inaba. Dojima Residence. Tomorrow's finally the day you'll be parting ways with everyone. All done packing? Well, if you forget anything, I'll mail it to you. Can I go answer the door? It should be safe. Oh yeah, that's right. Sure, go answer it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. The bad man's been locked away, Donako. You're safe now. Seeing her so cheerful like that, nothing makes me happier. Well, he's like seeing her so cheerful like that. Meanwhile, she's having like a flashback to getting kidnapped. Like, I think you, I think you read the room a little wrong. I already bought your train ticket for tomorrow. It leaves at nine o'clock in the morning from Yasuina bus station. <laughs> you missed it? No ski trip? We went on the ski trip already. <laughs> what are you talking about? That was the last time we streamed. Well, last time we streamed was, uh, you know, it was just like a random BS stream. But the stream before that, like last time we streamed Persona, it was the whole ski trip thing. That's when Teddy fucked us over with Kaimui Miracle. Today's your last day here. Don't worry about Nanako. You can leave her to me. Go see your friends. This might be your last chance to talk to them. <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> Fucking Teddy. This is the last day you'll be spinning in this town. You should wander around for a while. Are you going out? Be careful. See you later, Nanako. Oh, and you said you like the boss night. Yeah, exactly. And then I said she wears a chastity belt for some reason. And then someone, I think it was you, someone said, I don't know what the fuck a chastity belt is. And I was like, oh, sweet summer child. <laughs> All right. Time to say hi and bye to everybody. Oh, you can. Caught me off guard. Oh, um, I was just thinking of you. And you suddenly showed up, so. Chase laughing. Uh, shit. I got, like, caught in my wires for a moment. Chase laughing. Embarrassed. Tomorrow's the day, huh? I thought a lot about you, and I decided to come here. I was thinking, what can I do for you? And I figured crying or feeling sad about you leaving wasn't it. So I made up my mind. I'm gonna show you what you've taught me. I bought a book. You can read? <laughs> it's called How to Become a Police Officer. I told you I wanted to become strong so I could protect what matters the most to me, right? Well, I want to protect this town. We all worked hard to win this piece. I want to keep it this way. Can't be certain that no incident like this will ever happen again, right? This is where all my best friends are. It's where I met you. So I thought maybe I'd become a cop and have Dojima-san put me through the ringer. She is smiling cheerfully. So go home proud. We'll be fine here. Oh man, I didn't want to cry. You feel a tight bond with Chie. You still have to say goodbye to everyone else, right? Go ahead. Go. Alright. Thanks a lot, Coconut Head. Uh, I'm actually gonna run in here real quick. Ah, shit. Damn it. Oh, Senpai! Oh, Senpai! <laughs> Where are you going? I came to see you, Rize! Senpai, no. That's like you came to say goodbye. 
I'm not planning on letting this be the last time we meet. It does make me sad, though. I told you before, right? I'm returning to showbiz, starting this spring. I went to voice training today, prepared myself for that. You see, I'm redubbing myself with a new album. Re redubbing, my bad. Redebuting. Oh, shit. Redebuting. Redubbing. <laughs> Dub over Rize. I'm writing all the lyrics myself, unlike most artists nowadays. That's right. I'm throwing some shade out. Well, I got a D in composition, so they aren't exactly masterpieces. But you know, a lot of stuff happened while I was on break. I made friends, dear friends. Everyone was so nice to me. I want to express that to everyone who listen. My deepest feelings in my own words. Ah, I'm scared. I'm scared of putting the real me out there for people to see. But I can't give up into that fear, right? I'll work hard. For all my fans out there, I'm going to make a huge comeback. So wish me luck. Of course. Thank you, senpai. I know that you'll be watching me on the other side of the camera. I'll keep thinking that way. <laughs> I'll keep thinking that, uh, shit, I can't even read them more. <laughs> I'll keep thinking that way as, uh, I'll keep thinking that way as I work. I feel a close bond between yourself and Rize. I look back at Junez now, and I feel all these good memories of us. Maybe I'll offer to appear in a commercial for Junez. Then you'll all remember the time we had every time you see it. But then, we'll all feel a bit lonely afterwards, huh? Senpai, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll say goodbye, and I won't cry. I'm so glad the fog's gone. I mean, it's still foggy over in the other world, but it's clear blue skies over here. We can see you off on a happy note. Well, see you later. Alright, ah oh, shit. It's Shu. Oh, Sensei. What a coincidence meeting you here. What are you doing? Saying goodbye to people. Damn, Shu, you kind of tall. <laughs> goodbye? What are you talking about? I'm leaving tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow? That's so sudden. I have a baseball game tomorrow. But, I want to see you off. She's panicking. You told Shu that it's okay if you can't come. Oh, okay. Then I can tell you something I've always wanted to say. I made a friend. He's in the store right now, buying ice cream. It's the guy who transferred here that I told you about before, remember? He's a fun guy, and he's nice. He spoke up for me while I got suspended for cheating. And thanks to him, I have other friends now. He's teaching me about comics and video games. You gotta teach somebody about that? And in return, I help him study. That's a little suspect, but okay. <laughs> Sometimes we do our homework together. And then he says, uh, my head hurts, do it for me. I never thought that... <laughs> Alright, Shu. I never thought that fun was something you could have every day. Instead of being afraid of running away, I should have just faced it head on. Sensei, thank you very much. Um, your tutoring was great. I really learned a lot. Shu smiles like the happiest kid in the world. You felt very close to Shu. I'm gonna hit a home run tomorrow. It'll go so far, I'll reach your train. Please don't forget about me. Even if you're far away, I'll remember you too. I'm gonna leave for now? That's okay. Thanks for stopping by, Happy. Um, just as a heads up, uh, I'm gonna, if you check the schedule, I'm gonna change, it says Persona right now, but I'm gonna change it because people voted. And the next playthrough we're doing on the stream is Kingdom Hearts. So, if you want to come and watch that and watch me suffer, <laughs> then, uh, then there's that. But yeah, thanks for stopping by. I'm glad you came to this town. It must be scary for you, though, with those murders. Those only happened while you were here, huh? <laughs> you must have bad luck. Sensei, thank you. There are others you share a close bond with. Alright. Thanks, shoot. Was there somebody I walked past over here? I didn't, right? Okay, that's everybody. Cool. Gotta talk to every single fucking social link. Jesus. Oh my god, Marie. You're leaving, aren't you? Leaving me behind. Stupid liar blockhead. I didn't even want you to save me. And you did. And now you're doing this? I'm gonna be too lonely. 
Don't worry, we'll meet again. Of course we will. If you weren't going to meet if we weren't going to meet again, I wouldn't let you go. Hey. I went out and got something to eat by myself. Those steak thingies. Skewers? Whatever they're called. I can I can walk around town. Even without your help. The bond between us has connected me to this world. It's kind of lonely, but I'm going to explore the town without you. I'm not scared anymore. If I don't take any steps forward, I won't learn anything. I'm going to find out more and more about this outside world. And next time you'll come, I'll show you around. Or he's acting proud. It made me happy when you said that you liked me. So, even when you're not here, I'll manage on my own. But you better make sure you come back feel a tight bond between you and Marie. You're gonna say goodbye to everyone else, right? You're always like that. I'll see you again. Thank you. Thanks, Marie, for keeping it brief. <laughs> Kanji! Thanks for the chocolates, buddy. Whoa, Senpai. What are you doing here? Kanji seems to be panicking for some reason. Will you talk with him? Yeah. Oh, hello, Yuku. I heard you're leaving tomorrow. You know, Kanji's been acting all sad and lonely lately. Shut up, you old bat! I told you not to speak to me that way. And then she smacks him. The back of her fucking ring finger. <laughs> Anyways, have you told him about the handcrafts class? Handicraft? Thank you for being such a role model for my son, Yuku. Come visit here sometime, alright? Goodbye now. You didn't hear what she said, did you? Handicraft class. Uh... See, a bunch of customers like those knitted dolls we sold, and they asked me how to make them. So I'm gonna hold classes on how to do it. Laugh it up, why don't you? Hmm, I'm not gonna laugh. Senpai. It was my decision, though. If people want to learn, if I can teach them, hell, why not, you know? I'm still kind of embarrassed, though. But, uh, it kind of feels good to do something for other people. <laughs> <laughs> Kanji's laugh. It's only because you, it's only because of you that I could face up to who I am, senpai. Thank you very much. Kanji has a refreshing smile on his face. Feel a solid bond between you and Kanji. Are you gonna say goodbye to the others? Later. Well, it ain't like this is the last time we'll see each other. Our friendship ain't just on the surface. Funny how we got the murder case to thank for that. We put it into that stuff, right? Adachi's in a slammer and the fogs is all cleared up. It's all thanks to you, Senpai. Yo, Senpai. When you go, don't turn back around, okay? See ya. Kanji, I never would dream of it. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Especially explosions of emotions! <laughs> and sadness! How are you, son? What are you doing here? You're moving tomorrow, right? Don't you have more important things to do? I came to talk to you. With me? You really are a strange person. Oh, just to let you know, I just got back from school. I told him to stop treating me special next year. If I didn't speak up now, um, I, fuck, I can't read. If I didn't speak up now, who knows how the classes would have been organized. And I was just about to go deliver some goods. I got a scooter license, so I'm actually helping out now. There aren't that many people who come to the store out of pity anymore, so we gotta work really hard. Naoki's smiling cheerfully. Oh, did you know how to top, oh, wow. Did you know our top selling product? Handcrafted? I cannot fucking say that shit. Eau de Toilette? What the fuck is that? Toilet moonshine? <laughs> we used sake instead of ethanol, and it became pretty popular. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth, it was my idea. I heard some girls talking about it, so I did some research. I'm assuming the girls were underage. They were probably partying. <laughs> well, it may not be what a proper liquor store would sell, but it's selling. It's good for business. Hey man, guess what? Moonshine? Homemade moonshine? That shit's fucking delicious. 
Like, I know some people that make moonshine. And it's like, they put in like these little, not vials, but they put in like these little bottles. Like these fermentation bottles. And they put like the fruit in it and shit. It comes out pretty strong too. So, be careful when you drink some homemade moonshine. It will knock you off your ass if you're not careful. Jesus. I feel like I'm back in my own two feet. And I can start moving forward again. It's all thanks to you. Thank you very much. Naoki is smiling. Feel that bond between you and Naoki? Naoki? What the fuck? You feel that a bond between you and Naoki is very tight. Alcohol is interesting. I can't drink it yet, of course, since I'm underage. I was thinking about studying it once I got into college. My man's about to take classes on mixology. Okay. I never thought I'd feel this way back then. It seems as if Sis died a long time ago. The killer's been caught, so I just hope nothing like this ever happens again. I really do wish that. Oh, I'm sorry. You're probably in the middle of talking to everybody, aren't you? I'll see you later. There are others that share a close bond with. Alright, I'm gonna talk to the fox. Alright, game? I'm gonna talk to the fucking fox. It's right here. You wanna see me talk to the fox? I'll do it. This is the Shrine main building. What will you do? I'm called the Fox. Get your foxy ass over here. Literally. The Shrine seems to be prospering as some objects are shimmering with the golden sheen. You don't see the Fox. Perhaps it left. Hmm? What's a young man like you doing in an old place like this? This place was bustling with visitors not too long ago. But these days, you see less and less. I heard the town was considering tearing this place down because someone stole money from the offertory box. I also heard some fox had taken up a home here and they were gonna haul it off to an animal shelter. What the fuck? Too many rumors these days. Remember that one about how the fog was making everyone sick? Or the other one, what was it called? Midnight Radio? Ah, that was popular with the kids, right? My grandson and his friends were all into it. Funny, I remember something kind of like that happening when I was a kid, too. I wonder who started these rumors. Oops, I almost forgot. I was supposed to pick up some juice for my grandson. If you were supposed to pick up juice for your grandson, what made you walk over to the shrine? What the fuck? <laughs> what was that about? You wonder if the fox was taken to an animal shelter, as the old man said. You decided to leave the shrine. You feel a presence watching you. <gasps> it's the fox! The fox just comes out with like melee noises. Toya! <laughs> Come on! Fire! Mission complete! <laughs> it's the fox and its children. The fox family seems to be welcoming you. They look like they're doing fine. The fox happiness reminds you of a close bond you share with it. Fox taught, the fox taught its children how to jump from fucking buildings on those tiny little legs. Jesus. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck... Actually, I forgot to hit the Aya. You know what? Thanks for reminding me, game. That's what I was worried about. I was walking through the fucking place, and I was like, where the fuck? <laughs> I, was like, I was like... I was like, there's some people missing. You hear Dice Gang Code's voice is coming from inside the restaurant. Open up, bitches. What are you guys doing in here? Whoa! Whoa! Wow! <laughs> what a coincidence. We were just talking about you. Why don't you join us, man? Well... You see, we started talking about whether or not all this crazy stuff that happened here was really over, and... We were consoling each other about you leaving tomorrow. Why you gotta blurt stuff out like that? It's embarrassing, man. To be honest, though, I did want to see you one last time, but I figured you'd be too busy. The next thing I know, you walk right in. It's like, man, I was being thoughtful for nothing. You share a joyful moment with Ko and Daisuke. Oh, while you're here, let me tell you about something. After I graduate, I think I'm gonna go to college overseas. Not only does it sound like a blast, but I think it will look good on my resume when I join the society, you know? I figured that I'll help out the Ichijo family too. 
And come on, you're not doing this for your family. I know, it's for my own sake. It's not for the family that took me in, or because I'm their first son. I wanted to support the family on my own way. On my own way? In my own way! <laughs> I don't need to be the head of the head in order to do that. That's why I think it'll be cool to study overseas. I'm sure I'll learn a lot of things I couldn't do over here. <laughs> of course, Daisuke's gonna be a loner. Not really. No matter where in the world all of us are, it won't matter. Friends are still friends. Even when you can't see each other all the time. What? <sighs> Those are some touching words, man. <laughs> like, Coach just sitting there fucking rolling up a blunt. <laughs> smoking a mean out. Fucking eyes redder than Satan. Going, man, <clears throat> there's some touch words. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I had a hard time just thinking about how to start this conversation. I was even thinking about hopping on the train you'll be on tomorrow. Oh, fuck, I can't even read. You'll be on tomorrow, so... I should tell him about... Uh, oh, shit, I can't read. So I can tell him all about... <laughs> that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Why don't we all get some ramen? Hmm, you? You can come back and visit any time you want, man. This is your hometown too, you know? Ko, how the fuck am I gonna visit any time if you plan on going overseas? You feel a close bond between Ko, Daisuke, and yourself. I'm sure you got other people to say goodbye to. We can see you off tomorrow, but, um... We'll always be friends. We'll always be friends, too. Hey, don't steal my lines! I'm gonna make you eat pickled bamboo shoots. There's others you want to say bye to. Where the fuck is I? Where's I and where's Yumi? I thought Yumi would be over here somewhere, but I guess not. I guess they're... I guess they might be at the floodplains. I don't think you can go to the school, can you? Maybe you can. Hill overlooking town. Hey, it's Mr. Mr. You. <laughs> what a coincidence. You and I have just randomly decided to come here today. Is this fate? Yuri smiles brightly. Let's play, mister. Hey, don't be selfish, Yuta. I want to talk to Mr. You, too. Yeah, kid. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I don't like either one of you, but... Whatever. Uh, is it a grown-up conversation? I'll go play over there, then. Let me know when you're done. <laughs> He's a little selfish, but he does actually care about the feelings of others. By the way, do you know how the criminal behind those incidents got arrested? I was afraid because everything about the case was so mysterious. And that's awful fog didn't help either. When I heard the culprit was arrested, the first thing that came to my mind was about Yuta. Yuta's safe now. I felt so relieved. I can now understand what it means by the life of a parent revolves around their child. I just want my kid to grow up to be a kind person. That's really all I can ask of Yuta. Life is not only about yourself. There are always other people around you, so your life will affect their life. So I want you to become the type of person who can empathize with someone else, understand their situation. I believe that being kind to others will satisfy one's own heart. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. You changed my entire life. I never really thought about my life in the past. I thought I'd be okay if I could enjoy the moment. I just spent the rest of my life killing time. But now I see things differently. Having you two with me every day, laughing together over small things, I feel alive. <laughs> I'm glad I'm a mother. Said with like, <laughs> said with a manly voice. <laughs> you feel a close bond between Ari and yourself. I have to go now. I promise you to make spaghetti and meatballs together tonight. <laughs> spaghetti and meatballs. 
All right. The joke says itself. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Goodbye, Mister You. I'm glad I met you. All right. Head to the hospital next. There's a lot of fucking people to talk to. Oh my god. I'm gonna take a drink of my water. My throat's hurting. Inaba Municipal Hospital. You ever heard two nurses talking? Have you heard about Ura oh, fuck. Uehara-san? They seem to be talking about Sayoko. She joined some volunteer organization and went to Africa. Africa? I never thought she'd be in the kind of person who'd go there. Well, she seemed to be taking her job really seriously towards the end of her time here. She even studied during break. Do you remember when we were talking about the rumors of the Midnight Channel? She wasn't interested at all. Oh, I remember those rumors. Not that I know where they started. But yeah, now that you mention it, Uehara was never around when we were chatting about them. She was studying some foreign language, wasn't she? She was trying to learn English. Ew! Trying to learn English! And some African languages. She read a lot of medical books, too. I see, but why Africa? Why she join a volunteer... Uh, why she join a voluntary organization? Volunteer organization. Why the hell am I saying voluntary? What's the point? I'd rather marry a guy, raise kids, and be an ordinary housewife. Wow, your worldview is very small. That's what I used to think too, but watching Ore Harasan kind of made me feel different about it. She did seem to have a boyfriend though. A very young one too. Oh, must have been that kid who was working here part time. I'm right here! I don't know the details, but he seemed to really mean something to her. She once told me that she was trying to do her best to live up to him. Do her best? Huh. I feel I gotta try harder too. Yeah, I'm starting to see where she was coming from. Let's get back to work and do our best. Seems that Sayoko is working hard in a foreign country. Even though Sayoko's gone, her life here has changed people for the better. You feel a close bond between Sayoko and yourself. You decide to go back to town. All right, I know to say bye to Yukiko. You don't gotta tell me that, okay? I'm gonna say goodbye to her. If I don't, she'll hop on the train and stab me in my sleep. Yamagian. Welcome to a... Yukun, that's right, you're leaving tomorrow. Thanks for coming to see me before you leave. I'm very happy. It means a lot to me. I was just thinking of spending today as just another day. Helping with the housework, taking a long bath, and going to sleep. Was it necessary to tell me about the bath part, Yukiko? You wanted me to have that image in my head? You, you... Okay. Thanks. Thanks for that, Yukiko. So I can... I can say goodbye without crying. But I failed miserably. I kept thinking about you. And on top of that, here you are, right in front of me. You're not helping at all. You're so mean. That's it. I'm leaving town with you tomorrow. You know what? I don't think I would be opposed to that. <laughs> Just kidding. For now. <laughs> she says it with like the most serious tone ever. She's like, <laughs> Just kidding. For now. You know, after I decided to stay here and become a manager, I realized how afraid I was. Whether I can meet all those responsibilities. Whether I'll be able to support the whole staff on my own. I never thought of things like that. But, I've made my decision. Now I have to make an honest attempt at it. I'll do the best to overcome the- yeah, I'll do the best. I'll do my best to overcome the fear. And you'll be in my heart while I do it. We'll be together. What the fuck are you? What are you doing? First of all, how the hell did you get up there? <laughs> Second of all, what are you doing? Every time, every time my fucking dog 
Every time. Any other night, sleep. Dead sleep, not getting up. Every time I press this record button, he does something. Now he's crawling all over my fucking Nintendo 64. What are you doing, man? Find a place to sit down. <laughs> You're gonna jump on my bed. He did that shit right behind my back, too. Any other time this little bastard acts like he can't get on this fucking bed without my help. But the moment I look away, there he is, leaping like a goddamn frog. Can you find a place to sit? Stop. You got a cone over your head. You're not gonna go under the covers. The cone's not coming off until Friday. Oh my god, get over here. <laughs> get over here. Get over here, stop. Got all the wires wrapped around you. Down in your own bed. Dude. You okay now? Lay down. <laughs> Lay down in your own bed. Why do you even want to go up there? I'm not in there, so why why do you want to go on the bed? You just you just want to lay all my shit. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Sit, man. You're not you're not going to find more. There you go. There thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Every single time, this damn dog. Uh, I can't wait to get that fucking cone off his head. Jesus. I gotta wait till Friday to do that, though. Until then, cone stays on. Oh my god, you're still getting up fucking around with things. You know what? Do what you want, man. <laughs> we'll be together even when we part. I, pro I promise I won't turn away from my problems and fear. I'm gonna meet every challenge head on, no matter how hard it seems. Remember what the Amino Segeti said? If mankind so wishes, I will return at any time. It's not what I wish for. I'll face myself, no matter what happens. Thank you. I'll always love you. You had to, you had to throw that one in there at the last second, huh, Yuko? You gotta kick me while I'm down. Well, I should get back to work. I'll see you later. See you later, Yukiko. Goddamn dog. <laughs> there are others you share close bond with. Alright. Let's go see the others. I can't go to the school, can I? Yeah. Oh, the school is open. Oh. Hmm. Well, that means I can talk to who? Ai and Yumi? And Naoto? I thought Naoto would be at the... At the riverbank. Okay. Well, let's save Nanto for last. <laughs> don't want to end on. Don't want to end on Yumi. Oh wait, Yumi's not. Oh, I guess she's in the. Uh, I guess she's in the uh, the room, drama club room. Wait, what? Wait, where is it? Science lab. Oh, here it is. Hey, Yumi. Yumi's here. Yukun. I knew you'd come. I came here today to turn something in, and I felt this wave of nostalgia. We used to be in this club together. You're leaving tomorrow, right? I have something to tell you. I haven't really put my thoughts in order yet, but I want you to hear what I have to say. Because you're the one who changed how I thank you. I think I'm joining the student council. I figured I should do something for my school. I'm gonna take part in. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I got choked up for a moment. 
I want to take part in some local politics too. The town is the town is voting whether to keep the gas mask. I understand why people wouldn't want to see them ever again, but what happens if the fog does come back, you know? Oh, and I've started working at Junez. I'm a cashier at the food court. Oh, that means Yosuke's gotta put up with your shit now? Aw, oh, man. I'd like to try some more of the clubs at school, too. To be honest, I'd like to go back to the drama club. I want to see and feel the world I live in. So, I'm planning to try as many things as I can, as long as the opportunities are there. I kind of think, uh, I've been thinking about it. What I'm supposed to do with my life. And that is, I want to find out what the specific meaning in my life is. Why my parents created me. I'm sorry, what the fuck are you, Mewtwo? <laughs> like, <laughs> sitting in the Tept tube, just like, why was I created? Why was I born? <laughs> Though, if I do find that out, I can't be satisfied with the answer. I have to do something with the knowledge. Do something for the people who lived on for after me. I believe I believe the goal of oh shit. I can't read. I believe the goal of life is to pass things on as to as many people as you can. It's not about inheriting blood or continuing your genetic line. It's more like passing on your memories. <laughs> she is Mewtwo, and the music girl is Pikachu. Oh, she does have the stupid like blushy cheek things. Oh. Jesus. She's a Pikachu with pers with performance anxiety. Pikachu, use Thunderbolt! Mm, Pika! <laughs> it's just sitting there, and it's like, oh, Thinking about when it got wrecked by all those Spearow. <laughs> it's like, I can't do it. And since my father passes, uh, since my father's pass is down to me, I have to do the same for future generations. I'll do my best to see that my life bears fruit. I hope that you'll come and see me again. <laughs> no the fuck I won't. I hope you see each other again. Take care of yourself. The fact that I care about you so much won't change, no matter how far we are apart. That sounds stalkerish. <laughs> you won't be alone. Bye. <laughs> I hope you see me again. You'll never be alone. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yumi, stay the fuck away from me. Alright. Can't wait to get rid of your ass. Hi! <laughs> darling, baby, oh. hi, I love you. Oh, you? What's wrong? You got hit with extra homework too? That's not it. I was gonna see you later. I came to see you. <laughs> oh, really? Then, are you free right now? I'm always free for you. I is the best. Do you remember this rooftop? You stopped me when I was thinking about jumping off. Yeah, that was kind of... Yeah, that, that, was a little, that was a little too much. Thinking back on it, that was pretty dumb. Yeah, it was. Thank you. I really need to thank you, you. You stopped me, and you listen. Thank you. I'm glad I was able to tell you that before you left. Alright. No. Can I? <laughs> Enough with the soap opera. Hold up for a moment. I love I. And I, you know. And suicide is a serious topic. Let's not make too much light of it. But. That was the dumbest shit ever to put in that, in this social link. That, that was a bit too much. Like, going from I doing this shit to the beginning of Persona 5, it's like, wow. You look back at I, you go, man, you're fucking dumb. <laughs> like, Jesus. We should do something over spring break. I wouldn't mind coming to your place. Oh, shit. Okay. I would- wait, hold up, I. What do you mean by coming to my place, girl? You're fucking rich as hell. I keep forgetting how rich you are. We can just fucking- we can just get a room. Contrary to how I look, I'm actually very patient. I'm down for long-distance relationship. You're the best. So don't worry about me, you. I've been thinking about the future lately. Not so much about college or jobs or anything like that. But that I want to become a nicer person. Does that sound like a weird goal? That's good for you. Yeah, huh? I knew, I knew you understand. 
I'm glad I met you. I don't know what I what I'd be like if I had him. Maybe I'd be totally into the Midnight Channel. Oh, and spreading a bunch of rumors too. <laughs> I can never see that happening to me now. I must have went through a pretty drastic change. I has a beaming smile on her face. End of conversation. It made me so nervous saying all that. I'd never done it before. Why don't you go say goodbye to your other friends? I'm sure they're waiting for you. I think I'll head home. My extra class is over. No, I'm not gonna say goodbye. I'll see you later, you. You have not spoken with anyone whom you formed a strong bond with yet. Oh, anyone? Everyone. Whatever. Hisano! I'm gonna go hang out with the old lady. I met an old lady and... <laughs> I met an old lady in the, dar in the fucking darkness of night. She walked up to me in all black and said, I am death. And I went, oh shit. <laughs> my. My, you chan. My, my, what a coincidence. We really are connected by fate. Maybe she'll be the one to do me in, right? <laughs> On my deathbed, I just see her fucking walking up with a cane like, I've been waiting all these years. <laughs> like, Jesus. Shall we talk like old times? Goodness, I am so happy. Sound is cool. I just went to visit my husband's grave. Then I came to look at the river like I did last time. <laughs> Next thing I know, here you are. That's a surprise. I live with one of my kids and my grandchild now. They're all so kind. I just realized that I almost never talked about my kids with you. Yeah. See, it's symbolic because she talked about death all the time, but now she's talking about life. It's symbolic. I probably distanced myself from the rest of my family. I was afraid that if I didn't, I was going to depend on them. They're living their own lives. I didn't want to be a burden to them. So I wanted them to forget about me. To treat me as if I was dead. But they welcomed me. And now we live together. They take care of me, but I'm taking care of my grandson. <laughs> so there's a little bit of give and take there. There really is a nice place in the world where I belong. I just assumed that there wasn't one. They're my children, my family. I regret that I didn't talk with them before. My husband's death must have made Shit, I can't read. My husband's death must have been sad for them, too. After all, they lost their father. You still sad? Well... It's more like... There are times when I get sad. I'm so happy right now. But because of that, I feel sad every now and then. I can't help but think he must have wanted to feel this happiness, too. So I decided that the best thing I can do is live as long... Live as long. Live a long, happy life. I'll make the rest of my life as great as it can be. And then, I'll tell my husband about it when I see him again. And then she slowly closes her eyes and just conks out right in front of me. <laughs> like, damn, that wasn't long. <laughs> then, we'll have all eternity to be happy together. I'm not afraid anymore. Just a little lonely. I also have the time... Shit, I can't even... Fuck. <laughs> I also have to tell them everything that happened in this town, too. About this whole crazy year, those awful murders, and how the police solved the case. I'll definitely have to tell him all about you, too. I recently realized something. Precious things remain precious, whether you're alive or dead. <laughs> Sorry for making you listen to all my long-winded monologue. You look like you still have things to do. You look like you've grown up a lot. You're much more handsome now, too. Okay. <laughs> Not as handsome as my husband. Mm -hmm. All right. That's kind of hurtful because last time I checked, he's six feet in the dirt. But all right. I'll see you again. Well, then, take care of yourself. 
<laughs> you still have a lot of life ahead of you. Feel a close bond between Hisano and yourself. Hisano left without looking back. Because she's cool, man. She don't look at explosions. Alright. Head to the food court. Is that the last place I gotta go? Please tell me it's the last place I gotta go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So much reading. Yo! Yo, you! Sensei, I'm super duper happy that you came to see me. Going around saying goodbye, huh? What'd you think of the sleepy, peaceful version of Inaba? It must be weird to you. Hmm. I wonder why it began just you as you arrived here. I remember the first time Sensei and Yosuke braving the TV world alone. Boy, I feel so nostalgic. Yeah, ever since then, it's just one surprise after another. Hmm. I can't imagine how it's going to be like living here without you. A quiet, peaceful town with no need, with no need to use our personas anymore. I can't imagine it either. That's right. We were right in the middle of the case when you came over to this side. A lot of stuff happened. Facing my true self, and you and me got into a fight too. Yosuke, did you smack Sensei? Oh, how reckless. Of course, moron. Best friends gotta fight sometimes to be best friends. Why didn't you say so earlier? Sensei! Bring it on, let's fight! Teddy, I will knock you out with no mercy. Don't give me the chance. Don't hurt him, man. He's gotta get on the train tomorrow. Sensei, you're really leaving, huh? I'm glad I met you and Yosuke. You two completely changed my life. And Nana-chan, Yuki-chan, and the others too. They all helped me. They gave life to me. Life. Come on, man. You were the one who wanted to change. That's why you tried so hard to make it happen. Thank you so much, Sensei and Yosuke. I love you. Love? That's kind of strong. I'll take off my outfit if you want. <laughs> okay? Let's not. You feel a solid bond between you, Yosuke, and his child. By the way, is it okay for you to chill here? Don't you got somewhere to go? Like, meeting someone? Do you want Teddy to come with you? Fuck no. <sighs> no, I think Teddy has to work. Alright. Say goodbye and not wait. Oh shit! <laughs> I left Naoto at the school! It said, you should say goodbye to Naoto. I'm like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? I completely just walked past you. Oh my god, I'm sorry, Naoto. Oh, Senpai. This is a weird camera angle. Oh, Senpai, do you have business at school too? Oh, that's right. You're leaving tomorrow. Saying goodbye to your teachers? Oh, that's very kind of you. Well then, please excuse me. Take a hint, Naoto, damn it. Having a last look at the school, huh? Can I come with you? <sighs> this town has become so peaceful. Oh. Well, not that I'm disappointed. It's just that for me to remain here without your case to solve, I feel somewhat listless. I know this sounds awkward since we've already discussed it before and came to a satisfactory conclusion that the reason for me being here has nothing to do with the case. Perhaps it's just your departure that makes me lonely. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm making trouble for you. I appreciate it, though. I told myself many times that nothing will change, even if we're apart. But I couldn't convince myself on that after all. 
I'll remain here in Inaba, senpai. Of course, from time to time, my services will be required elsewhere. But, Inaba is my hometown now. I want to treasure this precious time I spent with you, solving the case together. The Midnight Channel, Personas, Amino Security. My duty is to stay here and get to the bottom of these mysteries. To be honest, the thought of it makes me a bit lonely. I love how Nato's like, you know what? You know what, senpai? You ever watch this crazy show called Twin Peaks? Let me tell you, it's about a detective that heads to a small countryside town where weird shit is happening. <laughs> you ever heard about that? Maybe, maybe I'll just stay here. Please don't forget your time here. And don't forget about me. Please remember the time we spent together when I confessed my love for you. When you accepted me for who I was, except on Valentine's Day, you piece of shit. You feel a solid bond between you and Naoto. I'll be in the station. I'll be at the station tomorrow with the others. So this is our last chance to talk, just the two of us. No, of course it won't be. I'll go visit you anytime, and vice versa. Senpai, don't you have other farewells to say? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I've not spoken to everyone you formed a bond with yet. The Jim and Nanako, you gotta go to them. Alright. First of all, I gotta make sure I don't fuck up. <laughs> make sure I don't fuck this up. Because this is very easily fuck upable. That's a word. I just meant it. Uh, which one is my. Is it okay? I'm gonna save over that one. I don't know what save that was, but... Alright, just making sure. Just making sure. You know, I gotta make sure. Alright. Hey! Hey, you. How are the goodbyes coming along? Did you see all your friends? Eh, most of them. I see. Did they all cry? Let me see your face. Your face. Bring it here. Hmm. You look like... <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit. I swallowed my spit. <coughs> oh, fuck. You look a lot more mature now. We've only been together for about a year, but kids grow up surprisingly fast. Nanako, do you remember what we promised? Take care of yourself, big bro. Don't get sick. You too, Nanako. Yep. Don't look so sad, Nanako. We're all family, remember? It doesn't matter if we're apart. We can go see him when I get a vacation. Which is fucking never! <laughs> Then we can talk about everything that's happened since we last saw each other, right? Mm. Yeah. Big bro. Will you remember me? Oh, don't say that. Jesus, Nanako, of course I will. It's a promise. <sighs> oh, come on, don't cry. I'm not crying. Oh, well. I guess all kids end up being pushed around by their parents. Same goes for you too, you. You? It wasn't all that long, all things considered. But I did enjoy your time here with us. I really do think of you as part of my family. I'm surprised my sister's kid would turn out to be such an upstanding young man. Give Nanako a call sometimes when you have a spare moment. And you're welcome to come visit us anytime. I'll leave your room just like you- <laughs> I'll leave your room just like it is. This is your second home, you know? You feel a solid bond between Dojima, Nanako, and yourself. When I grow up, I want to marry you, baby- oh. I'm not sure about that one, Nanako. <coughs> 
All right. Honestly, forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> You're a stud, you. Don't don't laugh at that, Doji man. That's not that's that's not funny. Because she's serious. Sure, Nanako. If you're still available by the time you're an adult. Oh. Dojima. I get she's a child, but you gotta realize how mature Nanako actually is. She's serious. <laughs> you stop it. But that'll be a long time, won't it, you? Right? <laughs> right about that, Dojima. Dojima smiles, but he's looking straight into your eyes and doesn't seem to be joking. By the way, have you said goodbye to anyone, to everyone yet? You still have a lot of time today. Why don't you go around Inaba and see everyone who'll miss you? Besides, I don't think you've already had the whole peaceful- Wait, what? Besides, I don't think you've really had the whole peaceful small town experience while you were here. Now that I think about it, that case began shortly after you arrived, and it finally ended a few months ago. Basically, it all happened while you were here in Inaba. I guess it was just a quirk of fate. Anyways, you should go. You should get going. We'll be home. We'll be going home too. I'm fucking stuttering all over the place. You should return to your house and prepare for tomorrow. No. You can't make me. I won't. I didn't say goodbye to everybody. You have no reason to come here anymore. Now say goodbye to everyone who's close to you. Is there something that you still have to do here? Hmm. This is what I mean that it's easy to fuck it up, because I'm honestly not sure what the hell I'm supposed to do next. I guess I do just go home. Right. Oh no, my bad. I'm sorry, I remember now. Woo! I almost fucked that up. That's not where you go. You go over here. You have no reason to come here anymore. Might as well stop by the food court one last time, huh? You're damn right. The usual food court. This is where you spent so many afternoons going over the case with everyone. Just sitting here brings back a lot of memories. What a coincidence! It must be destiny! Oh, so you guys came here too! It's our very own special headquarters. There are so many memories here. Yo there, senpai. I thought you'd be here. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow. But I was feeling too restless, so I decided to come here. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have something to eat? Ooh, let's have steak! Steak! And make Yosuke pay for everything! What the fuck, Chie? <laughs> Will you shut up about your steaks? Your eminence with the others. I really had fun in this world. Dude, your whole existence is about fun. Well, what we've gone through wasn't all fun and games. But I gotta say, I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it felt like it went so fast. We won't ever gather here again like this, or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. Come to think of it, for me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. I think I heard about it from her too. How did you learn about it, Chie? I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. Huh, I wonder how it started then. Who knows? Maybe someone accidentally came across it? The Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but 
There's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things again. Didn't that Amino something monsters say it granted us power? I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability. Yeah, that makes me wonder how that settles things, huh, Naoto? So that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Now how does that settle it, Naoto? Hey, that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? Does that mean you're an exception? Well, wait, then what about Adachi and Namatame? Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about personas, right? What? Then Senpai and the other two could do it for some other reason? Then there must be something you're not remembering. Anything come to your mind, Senpai? You're the only exception. You had the power to enter the TV before your persona awakened. And the same goes for Adachi and Namatame. Do you remember that Nanako gave you something this morning as you were about to leave? A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. The sender is listed as Adachi. Huh? This is from jail? He opens the letter and it just says, I'm locked up, they won't let me out. <laughs> it's from Adachi. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this world. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. So I hope this will give you something to think about regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. It's about how it all started, about that midnight channel. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town, before I heard the rumors at the station. And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatame's reports as well. But I can't remember who it was that told me. Since Namatame and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow. There's still more. When I'm here, I think of Dojima-san, Nanako-chan, and you. A lot. Though my time with you didn't seem like much fun before. It's strange. Adachi's well-organized words unfold. One uh, on a piece of stationary paper. Despite it all, I'm grateful to you. Thank you. But let me just say this. You're a dumbass. <laughs> you take the path you choose, and I'll think about what that means to me, too. I doubt I'll ever see you again, but stay healthy. Goodbye. But let me just say this one thing. Fuck you. <laughs> like, what? You obtain Adachi's letter. I just hit my fucking desk. Ow. You feel a definite bond between you and Adachi. Well organized indeed. That man really thought about that shit. He's like, dog, it took me a whole fucking month to write this shit. I gotta sound sinister. <laughs> and evil. But also like I have some little remorse. I may. I may have some remorse, I may not. Thou art I, art thou, that's a savage genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes. See the truth, thou bestow on the ability to make me. Got sweet Tsunagi, the ultimate form of the hunger arcana. Toro Adachi social link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Toro Adachi. I've mastered that ass. Mm hmm. You're damn right I did. Your power to create personas of the Hunger Arcana has reached its maximum. You, Narakami, has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the Hunger social link, you, have, you can now fuse Mangetsu Itanagi, the Tempter of the Void. 
You don't know why, but sometimes you see playthroughs now have that line. Wait, what? Have that line, maybe it's only if you have a high Adachi level. Which line? The dumbass one? <laughs> oh, not have that line. Really? I'll be honest. Like, when I do when I when I did my repeat playthroughs for the uh, for this to get like you know the the all, all the good social links endings and stuff I um I skipped most of the cutscenes so I cannot verify that who did we learn a <coughs> I'm sorry I'm like losing my voice this is what happens when you don't talk a lot and then you stream your voice is not used to talking this much who did we learn about the Midnight Channel from? Hmm. The line not appears sometimes. Cool that he You've seen can't it remember not who be it present. Was. Oh shit, really? Could be wrong though. Start feeling if it's true. <laughs> Some... I don't know, that would be pretty cool though. Right? I hope that's true. Then that means that I did that means I did a great job and Adachi loves me. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. It's like... I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see. That world. The midnight channel. The ability to enter TVs. They all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors. Then the serial murder. Followed by us deciding to investigate the case. If they all really were separate... They wouldn't fit together like this, right? There has to be some kind of conductor behind everything. So you think the person Adachi mentioned, the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, is that conductor? Uh, did I strike gold again? <laughs> it's seriously just something that popped into my head! I hate you, Chie. Senpai, is there anything like that you can think of? The power to enter TVs, where everything about this case started. You learned about the Midnight Channel from Chie a few days after coming to this town when she told you the rumor. But Adachi and Namatame heard about the Midnight Channel from someone immediately after coming to this town. When you think back, you feel as if something happened to you as well as- <coughs> I'm getting like this feeling in my throat. Where like, it feels like spit is building up. <laughs> When you think back, you feel as if something happened to you as well upon your arrival here. As, wait, what? As well upon your arrival here. That's a weird way to word that. There is something. We were involved in a murder case Coconut last year, head brain which for we the win. succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. <laughs> All I know is that we got one player sitting right here. Hey, how did all your Valentine's days go, huh? High five, Yosuke! Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme... Could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? So someone was behind the scenes watching us. The culprits. And maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning, so everything would come together perfectly? Let's go out into town. We might find something. Although, you may be the only one capable of noticing it. Please contact the rest of us should you come across anything. We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. Let's go figure this out. Who could have given you the intel? Wait, the intel. I'm sorry. The initial spark for this power. The one you met immediately after coming to this town was. It was my uncle Dojima. He was behind it. In any case, you need to see. You need to see. In any case, you need to see them and confront the truth. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Town. 
The weather's gotten a little moody out. It's cloudy. With a chance of meatballs. Meatballs. If you would. Yo, GMO, where are you? Oh, wait, I think they're hanging out at the riverbank. Dojima! What's up? Hmm? Huh? Did you, you already are? meet all your friends? Oh shit, I thought I thought it wasn't voice. I'm sorry. Hmm. I wanna talk to you, man. Hmm? What's this all of a sudden? You asked Dojima about the first day you arrived to town. The day you first came to town? Yeah. Hmm, let's see. We were the first ones to greet you, right? And then Nanko slapped your ass. Did we stop somewhere on the way home? I'm pretty sure Nanako and I left home that afternoon, picked you up, and came straight back. <laughs> now that I think back to that night, I was called back to work as soon as we got home, so I couldn't talk much. And the very next day, those strange murders started. Sheesh. A lot's happened since then. It's been one heck of a year, hasn't it? Hey, Big Bro. On the first day, didn't we stop at that place? What place, Nanako? The gas station. I used the bathroom there. When I got back to the car, you were talking to the weird attendant. Attendant? A weird attendant? Yeah, when I first met you, I remember the gas attendant because he was weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do remember that. I filled the tank before we went home, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I do remember you talking to the attendant there. I didn't remember seeing him much before, so he stuck in my mind. But I don't know about calling him weird. It wasn't like he looked or acted funny. Yeah. Come to think of it, I, I never saw that guy again. Mmm, it wasn't really that the attendant looked weird. But after you talked to him, you looked sick, big bro. I looked sick? Mmm, don't you remember? I asked you on the way home. Are you carsick? Oh, you mean the albino? Oh, I might have, I might have caught something. You said you were okay, but that attendant, he was just a little scary for some reason. Hmm. Well, I didn't know about that. But honestly, I'm surprised you're asking all these questions. I thought you came here just to reminisce. So, why are you looking for the person you met first? Is something going on with that attendant? Do you know him? Hmm. It might be important. I see. Well, just remember that you leave tomorrow. I don't know what you're up to, but you should come back home early. There are some dark clouds on the horizon. We might get some rain soon. Wait for me. Okay. The place you first stopped when you came to town was the gas station. Maybe something there will jog your memory. Huh. The gas station attendant? I've only seen an older man and an older woman work there. Huh. Igor, are you in here, buddy? Yeah, Marie's here, too. Welcome to the Velvet Room. How may I help you? Yes, I would like to buy a dime, please. You have solved the mystery One dime, please. and deflected the disaster that so near. <laughs> when I played this game, I actually had the gas station attendant spoiled for me. So you were expecting to the reveal and the whole <laughs> expecting the reveal and the whole dodgy thing was part of was part that took you by surprise. I think honestly, I think I think everybody Well <clears throat> For the most part, I would assume most people would be more surprised by the Adachi thing, mainly because it's so easy to fuck up the ending for this, right? Like you have you have the whole Namatame trap, and then you know, if you want, you can do the the Mr. Accomplice end, right? And then you can also that that's why I was like running around and saving the game, because you can easily fuck this up too. And when um when your character when you sits there and goes, ah, oh, I should head home or whatever. If you click yes, then that's it. That's the end of the game. <laughs> and you miss your chance to like run over to Junez. 
right? And the game also kind of psychs you out a little bit, because I, because I remember, like, I had to go to the velvet room. But I'm walking at the door, and it's like, you got nothing to do here, and I'm like, oh, okay. And it's like, Dunez is one of the last places you would think of, because you're not going back in the TV. And that's the only time you ever head to Dunez, really. Is there something else beyond this you need our assistance with? Hmm. There's one last thing. Intriguing. So, is there still something that leaves you unsatisfied? Yeah, what I'm unsatisfied about is that no one talked to me during this whole entire Uber ride, Igor, so I'm gonna have to leave you three stars. Hmm. What may that be? Because, you know, I love it when a random person tries to talk to me when I'm riding in a random-ass car. <laughs> yeah, the Juness events are super hard to find. Exactly. It's just so, like... It's just one... Like, there's no basis for you to actually go back to Juness. And I also want to point out, it says Nanako hands you a letter when you, uh... When you're at Junez, it's like if you look back, I'm pretty sure I walked past Nanako as she looked at the letter and that she didn't hand it to me at all. <laughs> right? Well, then, let's take a look and see what it is you might be sensing. Like, the only thing that would make you think about going to Junez is like, oh, I just want to see if anything will happen. But on top of that, in order to unlock that that chance to go to Junaz, you have to talk to all your social links, too. And on top of that, I'm pretty sure talking to your teammates is mandatory as well. So it's like, you already talked to everyone, and it's like, there's no reason for me to go to Junaz because I'm going to see them tomorrow. Wow. That's a lot. That is a lot, Marie. It's almost like I did fucking two other playthroughs. Ah. This is a surprise. And I'm technically still not done with the social links. These are shards of power, allowing one to see through to the truth of I'm things looking at you, Margaret. without being swayed by hollow rumors. Interesting. Indeed, you have come here today for a reason. Then I shall play my part as well. That is a crystal of power, which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. I always like the way he said that line. And shines upon the truth. You obtain the orb of sight. something about myself. I was born a long, long time ago. I was the unconscious wish shared by people's minds to protect the world of man, walk the path of man, fulfill the wish of the world. That was my role. See, Marie is kind of like a worse version of Morgana. The only perk you get is that you can fuck her. <laughs> People change. It's totally legal, don't you see? She's thousands and thousands of years old. People stopped wishing for truth and life. Or maybe they just stopped paying attention. Eventually, the me that wanted to protect humanity and the me that wanted to fulfill humanity's wish couldn't stay as one. The desires of man had no bounds and one day, my other half became its own existence much larger than myself i was left behind with no power or memories i became a tiny fragment incapable of even clearing the fog without giving my own life to do so kusumi no okami marie have you been watching that freaky ass anime again the one with the weird dubs from the crunchy roll the rest you already know. Without my powers, I became a tool, manipulated by the other me. You already know, huh? The cause of it all. The one who created the Midnight Channel and gave you the power to enter the TV. The real Puppet Master, who tried to fill both worlds with fog. 
using me and the Sagiri. If you don't defeat her, the world will never be truly clear of that fog. So, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little confused as how she words this. Is Marie the original or not? Go. Follow what you believe in. The truth is right in front of you. Because I don't think Marie's the original. Marie's not the original, right? Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. Uh, by the original, I mean, was it Marie first or was it the other one first and then they split apart? At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it and continue without faltering. <laughs> How marvelous. It seems that you will reveal the journey's true end. One beyond our predictive power. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Kasumi, wait, well, hold up, what? <coughs> Kasumi, wait, really? I wasn't even paying attention. Uh. Oh, shit. That's right. Oh, really? I did not... I actually never realized that. Kasumi in P4 and Kasumi in P5. You know why I didn't realize that? Because both of them are... Both of them have, like, two different story arcs. I'm not going to talk too much about the about the royal one because that's spoilers. But uh, the one here uh, for Marie is based off of the uh, what, what's it called the Moon Princess story folklore, whatever Japanese folklore. You know the Moon Child. She like a child comes down, uh, lands in a bamboo field, is raised by a bamboo by like a bamboo cutter, and then it turns out that she's like a child of the Moon, and then she you know gets in a rocket and go back to the Moon or whatever and. She had like a comb with her too, or whatever. It represents separation. Now go All that bullshit. to the place where everything began. They also do that in Okami as well. Oh, Kusumi and Kasumi. Okay. Hmm. It began raining. Oh no, it's raining. Can I head to Daidara now? Ah, oh, shit. I'm a chef, chef too.